we've got a Disney one today. Hey guys, from the 9th of September, you can purchase the Altoria advent calendar and shop the new range from www.altoria.com. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video or competition. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be boxing the Disney advent calendar. If you want to see exclusive advent calendar videos, please go follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be putting up teasers the day before the video goes live on this channel so please go over and follow me also if you want to become an exclusive El Toria member please see details down below it's where you can see advent calendar series videos very early so disney so this is by mad beauty this calendar costs 15 pounds and it is a 12 day advent calendar you can get this from super drunk i've not opened a mad beauty one before so let's get on with the video door number one we have something vanilla -y. so we've got a vanilla lip balm again it's really hard to get the items out so i'm going to use a makeup brush again there we go so we just got a four gram vanilla lip balm smells very vanilla -y. It's like that standard vanilla scent that you get in candles. It pretty much smells like that. A good actual choice for this time of year because lips do get very chapped. Door number two. It's actually quite hard to spot the numbers on this Mickey Mouse background. Makes it a bit of a challenge. So in this door we have some bath salts. Um, what scent is it? Vanilla. Again, a uh, very small, not a lot, only probably suitable for one bath. It does smell just like the lip balm though. Day number three, here we go. So in this door, we've got a coconut bath fizzer. Now I am a little bit of a bath bomb snob. I do love my Lush bath bombs and I know uh, this won't compare because it's a lot cheaper. This is so hard to get out, I'm not even exaggerating. Come out. Okay, this is officially the hardest advent calendar I've ever had to fight with. So it's just a small fizzer. I don't think this is big enough for a bath. I don't know what you guys think, but that ain't gonna do anything. Day number four. So in this store we got coconut bath salts. Ooh, it does not smell like coconut. I'm gonna open the bag. That definitely does not smell like coconut. Um, it smells more like men's aftershave. Not impressed with that one. Day number five. Oh no. <laughs> if you watched my advent calendar series last year, you would know what I absolutely hate to see in an advent calendar and it's staring me in the face. The Mickey Mouse face isn't helping. It's a bloody nail file. You can't even get it out. Uh, there we go. So just um, a nail file that probably will only do one nail. Door number six. You have got to be joking. You have... This is taking the bubble. Are you serious? Got another nail file. Okay, this is a bad move. Having two nail files in a row is not great. Like, not at all. You've almost got to damage the nail file to get it out. Like, there's no little, like, nail hook on it. Oh, it flew out. So it is like a Mickey Mouse one. So you can do two nails now. Door number seven. Better not be a nail file. Oh, we've got vanilla hand cream in this door. Oh my God, it just broke my... Makeup brush, are you serious? That's how hard it is to get the products out. Anyway, so we've got a vanilla hand cream. It's got uh, Mickey Mouse packaging. Like the packaging, I must say. Oh, we've got a bit of seal. God, they've not made this calendar friendly on the nails, have they? Honestly, that is ridiculous. Even my teeth can't open it. It smells just like the lip balm. Day number eight. It's a, a lip balm by the looks of things. Yep, this is a coconut lip balm. Let's see if this smells better than the bath salts. Mm. It's a very faint smell of coconut. It's not that strong. 
barely smell it if I'm honest with you and it's four grams. Door number nine. This door we got vanilla body wash. This is a good shout. Love getting shower gel in advent calendars. I find that's probably like the most crucial thing in an advent calendar is shower gel because you always use shower gel don't you? Here we go so vanilla body wash. Oh it's got the silver bit. Doesn't taste great but Where's the smell? It smells a bit like, you know when you go to a salon, like a nail salon, and that smell of like nail products, or is it the nail, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, it smells like a nail salon. Quite like that smell though. Door number 10. Looks like we've got some body lotion. Is it body lotion? Yep, it's just, oh, I'm dropping it. So it's just a vanilla body lotion. Let's see if this smells like a, nail salon a little bit i don't know why but it smells very different to the lip balm day number 11 we're almost there again we got another bath fizzer and it's in the scent vanilla this is honestly so hard to get out look i'm giving it some force ah Honestly, they need to change their packaging next year. So just a vanilla one. It smells very similar to the body wash and body lotion. Again, not liking the size. That's not going to do a lot in a bath. It's like a suitable bath bomb for a mouse. Then finally, door number 12, which is right in the middle. Oh, <laughs> oh. wow. They really did pull the stops out there, haven't they? Uh, okay, you got a little shower lily there. Okay, so let's just evaluate it. So it was 14 pounds, or was it 15? 14 pounds. I'm gonna just like divide 14 by 12. So the products do work out to be about one pound 16 each, which I actually think is very reasonable. There we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that I have started Advent Calendar series, so please um, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. I also will be launching giveaways and all that exciting things, so stick around for the whole series. But as always guys, just make sure that you link, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye!